Can a pod be a magic wand? My name's Greg. You're watching How to Play Paintball. All right, so this is a trick that I had learned actually from Derek Jordan uh, from X Factor. Uh, I've seen him use it. It's an incredible, just it, it's an outside the box kind of a thinking, and it works. I, I've seen it work um, uh, from from him actually playing and doing this trick. It can't be an empty pod. That's what I'm going to preface this with. It does need to be a full pod. So you kind of have to juggle because it's is it worth you know, dropping a, a pod and having less paint to shoot uh, to make this work. In some cases, I will say yes, but you kind of have to juggle that in your mind. Let me explain exactly what it is, and then you'll be able to figure out uh, if it's something in a game situation that you'd like to do. Basically, what he did, um, if there's a guy in, uh, uh, well, I'll just explain that there was a time that I'd seen him use this. It was basically, there was uh, him, a bunker, and then the opposing player was in the next bunker down. So there was one bunker in between them, maybe one or two. Um, and what he did was he took up an empty, po or, I'm sorry, not an empty pod. He took a pod out of his pack, a full pod, and threw it at the bunker in front of him so that the bunker shook. If you remember from that self-playing critique uh, that I said, okay, now wait and watch this Dorito move, that's how I knew that somebody was there. Um, and essentially, that's what this is emulating. Uh, because if there's no wind and all of a sudden a bunker moves, it's it's 99% of the time it's somebody's there. Um, because, you know, if there's nothing else to, to move around, then what else is it going to be? So what he did is he threw the pod. The guy in front of him thought that he moved up closer, and he went around to go bunker him because, you know, if he's close enough and if somebody just dives in, that's a good time to go and bunker them because as they're trying to set up to get shooting, you can already shoot them by the time uh, they're starting to, to get up, to, to get in position to, to start you know, trying to either shoot you or somebody else on your team. So the, the player ran around to go and bunker him, but Derek was sitting there waiting for him to do that, uh, the bunker behind him. So as the player came around, he sees that there's nobody there, there's just a full pod that uh, Derek had thrown at the bunker to make it shake. Guys, it's a really, really cool trick, um, <laughs> and I, I think he's used it a couple times in tournaments. Uh, you could even do this at the uh, uh, the W if you're close enough to it, and you throw it at it, um, and you make the W kind of move. Uh, that might just mean that somebody, because you can't really see people get up to the W, so uh, once people see that moving, if they're close enough, they might try to go bunker the person, and then when there's nobody there, you're waiting for them. So there's a bunch of ways that you can use this. But um, it's, it's just a really cool trick that I wanted to share with you guys. And one that I, I just like that out of the box thinking. Kind of like what we were talking about with uh, uh, kicking the, um, the, the bunker behind you if you're in the snake, if there's like that notch in the snake. And uh, essentially it's uh, kind of uh, emulating that uh, where you're throwing a pod instead of kicking one behind you, you're, you're throwing a pod at a bunker in front of you. Like I said, the downside with that is if it's like mid-game and you only have one pod left, it kind of depends on how many players there are left on their side of the field, how close that guy is. Because if you throw that pod and he doesn't take the bait, now you're down a pod. And what if that's the pod that you needed to finish out a game or you only have a hopper and a pod left? And, you know, like there's a lot of stuff that could go wrong with this, but if you have extra paint and maybe you're further up the field and you know that there's a guy that's a little bit closer, but you know that you can't run him down, let's say, um, and you throw the pod at the bunker in front of you, maybe there's just that one in between you, like in that example with Derek. Um, it's, it's just a cool trick. I, I really like it. Um, I hope that this all makes sense and uh, that, uh, I don't know, it'd be cool if you guys use it, you know, put it down in the comments um, or even put in some other uh, cool ones that you have that, uh, you know, thinking outside the box kind of ideas uh, there's so many in paintball. That's that's the cool thing with paintball is it really is chess with guns. You're trying to outsmart the other player, and this is just another little trick that you have for that. Uh, but um, that's that's the trick, guys. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. And as always, remember: watch, learn, win. Thanks. <laughs>